buddy. It is Paul Boyce from Cape Town. Hey boys, Pretoria boys. It is gonna be a mouth watering encounter. Pretoria boys have a mountain to climb. Paul boys unbeaten this season. They are a phenomenal team. The likes of Mintua, the fly off. My goodness, that kid is unbelievable. He is a force to be reckoned with. My goodness, when he gets going, he is unstoppable. Teams ready to line up. On comes the young boys. Pretoria boys running on as well. Both these teams running on at the same time. Paul boys versus Pretoria boys. It is a derby now. We are on. The ref for this game is William Lombard from Falca AR1. Ruan Juist, who just officiated the Queen's College vs. Ben Foster match. And WAJ von Square. On a R2. It is going to be a cracker. Socks, sock off, back up, yeah, we see it. If it goes over. About to take us off. Looks like Mentua is on the ball. Mentua with a kickoff. My goodness, it is on. Paul boys are now on the attack, trying to defend. This is Paul boys' great exit from the Pretoria boys' team. On commentary, Kaisa Bumlana. Niels just arrived. Morning, Cakes. Uh, sorry, I was uh, just got held up somewhere else. Um, yeah, we've got Paul boys are in. Pretoria boys, oh yeah, there's a number of changes in the Paul boys side that I picked up this morning. They got David's fly off and still fronts for the at fullback. But it's Ruben Dahmer's taken through the middle. It's a big center again there. Tristan Jubey. Pretoria boys, I will do well. Will do well to start well. And Pretoria boys, I winning the penalty there after. Uh, Paul Boisai not rolling away and releasing, and Boisai from Pretoria will be able to clear their lines and set up a line out in the Paul Boisai area. Paul Boisai. Defending the line out, Pretoria boys had to put it in. And Tumela McQuena, he's to put it in the line out to the middle there. Good take in the mall is on. That's a good set in the start of the mall. Pretoria boys are rolling away. Paul boys are stopping it now. But they're coming to, this, to the middle of the field. Good momentum. He's now stopped coming to, to the back line. Straight through the middle. The Pretoria boys. Got to move it quickly at Tattersall out to the back and it's a drop goal by Dempe and it's straight through the middle and Victoria Boisai has taken the lead here early on against Paul Boisai in this match. My goodness, 
Kebeho set himself up. He was busy having a chat and the scrum. He threw the ball straight to him and he decided, let me have a dig. Let me go for a drop goal here. Almost like the Smith from England <laughs> winning that game with a, with a drop goal, Nielis. Yeah, well, it's a long way out, long way to go. They've got a different fly after today. It's Janil Davids for Paul Boisai. Uh, Vian Mento is taking a break. Davids kicks off. It's quite a short kick off. Good take there by Boisai. The lock. Good tackle there by the new prop. It's a different prop as well. US State looks like. Comes out by Tattersall. Uh, it's a kick towards the side looking for the 50 22. To Swartz a wing. Boys eyes taking it up, They're going through the middle. That's a great pass <laughs> to Yuster, the prop forward. There he goes. He's rampaging. Yuster is looking good there. Taking up straight route number one. Scrum officer today is Harvey Cook. Uh, my apologies, Josh Leroux. Leroux gets it out to. Uh, it's worked here for Namara through the hands out to Shane Simonsa is on the right wing today. Swartz is on the left wing. What a beautiful try there by the left wing, Swartz. Paul Boys making light work of the defensive shapes and setup of Pretoria boys. Great ball movement in the hands. But my goodness, Nielus, that line break by that big man, the number three, Ron. Yeah, it's, uh, Mr. Uester, he is like, that's a dream for every prop. He goes through <laughs> the middle, and suddenly, like the like the Dead Sea, it just opens up. And he's looking, can I make it? You know, and then he, then he remembers, now I'm a prop. Turns around, looks for support, and beautifully set up and goes to the left uh, for Suarez to go over into the, into the corner there for Paul Boisai. Yeah, it's, um, we've moved out today to, if we were in the outside broadcast unit, on, on, on Saturday, today we're outside. Yeah, different, uh, different kettle of fish, um, but it's nicer to be closer to the ground. But some other challenges thrown in as well. That's the big number seven flank from Victoria Boys are kicking off. Center. Ruben Damas is taking it up again, oh, and it's knocked on there by Dion Small, the long rangey. Lock forward from Paul Boisai, and that will be the first scrum of the day. That's safe center for the kickoff. Really unorthodox stuff here by Pretoria boys kicking off with they fly off, but we had Tebejo just smashed a beautiful drop goal. <laughs> interesting, interesting. It's all happening here at King Edward the Seven School. Pretoria boys eye. I'm liking their endeavor first up in the game. I'm not sure Gakes was did the, was the conversion over? Yeah, I did. He got it over. Okay, so the <laughs> score is out to 7-3. Yeah. And it's Tim Tattersall today wearing the number nine jersey for, for Pretoria Boys. It's a first scrum. Okay, thank you. We're just getting a confirmation that the conversion was not over. So the score is 5-3 to... Paul Boisai. The scrum is being reset by the referee. Tatsil is standing there patiently waiting for the big boys to sort out their personal issues with each other, like props and hookers do. In by passing. Good scrum by Boisai, but eventually it swings around. It's a penalty. Tori, it's a penalty to, to Paul Boisai. Not sure what that was for. But the Paul Boisai boys looks a bit bemused by it all, Gags. <laughs> Penalty. I'm assuming the ref says it was scrumming coming from the side, and Pretoria boys opting to go for the line out. I like the fight, the fire in this Pretoria boys team. Not going for the poles, saying, Look, 
We want to take on this Paul Boys tie. We want to compete and we're going to try. <laughs> we know what's going to happen here, Niels. It's going to be a mall. Surely it has to be. It's going to be a mall. They have a hooker in McQuenna who has been very impressive in all the games that I've done where he attended or he played. He's put out in the puddings in the line. It's always secure. And as I say that, he first books and then he misses his man and it's just quick one by Paul Boys. They're going to take it quick out wide. <laughs> Almost uh, and they an interception. And they mess it up. Paul Boys looks a little bit off their game. Um, but they've made them many changes. And um, Paul kicks down the field and Dimpe picks it up. He's going to run it back at them. Kicks it up in the air. That's a hanging up and under. Paul Boys is under it. That's a great take. By the Paul Boys Eye fullback there for the Marva. But he, he, he does not release, and Boys Eye from Pretoria gets another penalty. And they have another chance to set up a more. My goodness, I don't believe it. Great kick by Tebecha, great chase speed and running lines here by Pretoria Boys who apply all sorts of pressure to the. Number nine, Keegan Smith, then holding the ball when they got to him after a great, great tackle. And then penalty now for Paul Boys, and they go for the line out. This Niels. one, McQuenna gets in right. And the mall is set, and Boys are in the, they've already got a penalty, so it's a free hit coming up. Tatisol is digging for it. Tatisol is digging for it. Is he going to swing it out wide? He gets it to the middle to Rikas Vessels. Boys are gets driven back by Paul Boys are. I think we must work it. How are we going to go? Are we going to go Paul and Pretoria? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, think, I think I'm going to go Paul and Pretoria from now on, and hopefully I don't get it wrong too many times because <laughs> it's boys I and boys I up here today. It's the boys of Pretoria and the boys of Paul. In Afrikaans, as they say, the hoor jongen sien school van go. die perl. <laughs> yeah, try, the... try that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Every that... time you say something, I, wa I want to hear that one. Else. Back to the middle. McQuinn has now missed two out of three. Very uncharacteristic, and the knock-on, the knock-on has happened, and it's the scrum for Paul Boyza, and they will now be able to clear their lines. Paul Boys now with the ball, not Pretoria Boys. Like Neil said, it's uncharacteristic of them to play rugby in this 22. Normally they hoof it downtown. Niels, what's going on today? Yeah, they've, I think they're a little bit off their game. They've got a huge game on Saturday against Oakdale Agricultural School from Riversdale, where CJ Stunder, one of their coaches, now went to. And I think they've, they're resting a few players. They've had a long tour, but the ball's being hoofed downfield. And Petora Boys is taking it up again through Dimpe. And Dimpe is going straight through, and Dimpe is looking very good there. Boisai's got a tattersall, is getting it out to one of his flanks through the middle. Boisai from Pretoria, they're on their game here. Onto the prop forward there. Mueng. Out again from Tattersall. Pretoria Boisai looking good here, going through the middle again. Tattersall is waiting for it, but it's a pick and go straight up the middle again. Pretoria Boisai looking good, but Boisai from Paul and Tattersall is coming to the right again. And Dempe, the fullback, he's getting himself involved all the time today. Ball's on the ground. Referee is right there. Out from Tatsil again to Ngabileng. Uh, Get swing out again. Straight, straight through the middle there by Pretoria Boy's eye. And, uh, <laughs> and it's that man, Tristan Franzman, inside center. He's got that low slung body bolt, you know, which makes it very difficult to bring him down, but also good to, to, to steal the ball on the ground, which he duly did there. And it's the fly of Janil Davids who will My give goodness. Paul Boys a chance to clear their lines. Look how big this Janil Davids is. He's got massive calves, massive legs. My gracious me, he looks more like a flank. 
Like a hooker there, Cakes. Yeah, you know, you know, imagine tackling that. And now he can, and he's got pace and a sidestep. You're in trouble. <laughs> Great defense there by Paul. The boys, parents, very Tommy, happy, cheering. Tommy Miller, Tommy Miller putting it in the back there to his tall lock, Jaden Joubert. But unfortunately, the, the, the throw in wasn't great. You know, you're always going to have the odd hiccup when you have new players on. But Leroux, they're just mishandling the ball. Yeah. The number nine. His Paul boys say, don't worry about it, we'll get it back. Victoria boys now on the attack. William Cole in the frame with the ball, waiting for William Lombard, the official from Falca, to let us know when he can play. Shaping up, looks like we've got Cole. Shebu, eighth man, but it's gone there to Rikas Muller. Rikas Vessels, I beg your pardon, in midfield. Ball comes out again. To, is it McQueen up playing hooker? Tapelo. Is it Tapelo it today? Tapelo. Okay. Tabi Leng, he kicks it forward. He's getting monstered in the tackle there. But the referee, as they do time and time again, they police that offside line. And Paul Boys are, are being pinged for that yet again. But I shouldn't feel alone. This is this this happens four or five times per every half of every game that I've seen. And like I've said in other commentary stints, at the beginning of the season, the referees sit and they get told, this year, we're going to look at that offside line. You better police that. And they all... You know, and it's not a bad thing. You know, those offside line and five, five, five yards and ten yard retreats. You know, it leads to good attacking rugby. And if and if you within the space where you're not supposed to be, you must expect to get penalised. Hundred percent. To Micho now, with a kick, almost on the 40 meter mark. He's lining up. Takes a deep, deep breath. And the kick is powerful, but no direction. Got the distance, Niels. Yeah, I think, you know, they always talk about the, the, the legendary slope here at the mainfield, King Edward. I think that slope <laughs> works with their minds. Because that was pretty much straight in front. And just pushed. But I've seen many kickers over the years just get it wrong. Because you know that at the moment, Paul boys are, if you have to believe the King Edward people, they're playing uphill here. Looking for options. They go to the left of the field. Great, great run. Great work there by Paul Boys. Cole on the ball. Finds the big man. Looks like it's Offense. Offense put down. Carrying the ball. Now is the big lock. Number five. Tsepiso is put down. The Paul Boys family and friends and parents are cheering for the great defensive effort here by Paul Boys. Still with the ball, Pretoria boys. Ref says it's backwards. Going for a chip and chase. Ball bouncing. Favor. Oh my goodness. It was a mistake. It wasn't a deliberate one there, Neil. So it can't be a yellow card, eh? Are you asking me or are you saying? <laughs> I'm asking you. <laughs> with referees, you never know. You know. They make it up as they go along. Sometimes, you know, that's all about interpretation. I think they've got to see if there's intent and the referee rightly so. He just see it as a rugby collision. I think it's a very good decision and he just gives a penalty and rightly so. And I'm glad to see that. Uh, the guy jumps up in the air. other guy can't really stop himself. You know. So fortunately, it's a, it's a penalty. Although, although David's a big burly fly off. He uh, looks like he injured his shoulder. I think he'll be okay. And Paul Boisai through the fullback, Francois van Merwe, kicks it off the park. And they're setting it up for a rolling mall, line-out mall, which I'm guessing, but they'll be taking it from, they'll be taking it from here. Paul Boisai has got a much vaunted mall. Let's see if they can make it happen. And it's Tommy Muller is putting it in the line-out. To the back Ooh, for Thomas, but it goes straight over. Tapelo. Tapelo. Mapela. 
Dimpe, the fullback. He's full of running today. Some clever kicking as well. He's kicking it through the middle. Uh, it's a great take there by Van Amara with the fullback. He takes it over the line. But Paul Pretoria boys eyes over the ball, getting told to leave it. Ball comes out to the inside center, Swartze. And I beg your pardon, Tristan Franchman. The ref blows a whistle for offsides. Yeah, and now we see that with Josh LaRue, or I beg your pardon, Janil Davis off the field. Vian Mentor, the playmaker, has been really impressive at Northside last week as well as Saturday against King Edward the Sevens called. He's now on the field after Davis had to leave the field injured. They've set out another line out, close to the line now. Tommy Muller is going to put it in the line, setting up the... You know, it's a good take there in the middle by De Dian Small, and the rolling ball is on. And here go, post, goes Paul Boisai, Pretoria Boisai is now defending for their lives. They've been in this game, but this is the danger area for them. The juggernaut pack of Paul Boisai, and, and the ball goes down. And re the referee has called that they've taken it in. And Pretoria Boisai has managed to weather the storm and well win the scrum. Great, great work there by Pretoria Boys, managing to keep the attacking team at bay, winning the ball back. Now the ball is with William Cole. They have to exit here. Tabejo has been really, really impressive. He's also putting his hand up, saying there's Craven Week, there's Academy Week coming up in June, July. Please, coaches, selectors, have a look at me. Doing all the right things, playing the ball in the right areas, kicking it when he has to, moving it when he has to. Williams, Cole now with the ball, pick and go from the big number eight, Katrejo. He's working, he's put down, still with the ball. Oh no, penalty, Niels. Paul Boyza plays it quickly to the side. This is a try coming up. Most definitely, that's a try. And as he goes through there, it's, it's a little bit unclear. It looks like Mentor, who's taken it through there, goes over in the corner. And Paul Boyza is out to a 10 to, 10 to 3 lead right now. I think I've got to just go back. Um, we'll give you the, the name of the player that went over there. It wasn't a far corner. Penalty, ball moved quickly in the hands. Nice footwork there by the number 11, Ash Wynn Swartz. Chits and chives, hot step on the left foot. Easy, and he canters over the try line. What a try, Ash Wynn Swartz. Conversion coming up. Conversion is over. Ball boys are out to a 12-3 lead. Um, boys I from Pretoria would be a little bit disappointed by that because they've been in this game and they've put up a good fight so far. Um, but unfortunately, when Paul boys I moved it left quickly off the penalty, space opened up. And he gets kicked off by Dimpe. See how Paul Boyzer can exit, and they takes it straight up the middle there through Tristan Franceman out to Vian Mentor. Great kick, great, great kick, and that will be a 50 20, Whoa. which means they've take, they've kicked it all the way down, and the in and the line out throw will be in favor of Paul Boyzer, and they will set up a mall again. I can promise you that. Because they've now get getting the bit between the teeth. Toria Boisa, who fought gainly or gamely earlier. Boisa is now getting into their work here. Interesting to see where this goes. 
because they're trying to go to the back. And I think that's something that they're trying to practice to get the momentum for the mall around the back when there's a little bit of movement on the ball. Goes to the back. Thomas taps it back. Oh no, not gone. Knock on by Paul, by, by Paul, and Boisai will get a chance to have a solid scrum and clear their lines and kick it downfield again. I think they got off the hook a bit there. <laughs> these, these Paul boys are starting to do, to, to getting into their work, as I said earlier. The, Paul, the Pretoria Boisai scrum has been pretty decent. I mean, Paul Boisai on occasions on Saturday really dominated the King Edward VII scrum. So they obviously, but they have different players on the field, different hooker, different tight head prop. You know, the different one of the, I think it's a different flank as well. Arnaud Duplessis is playing today and not Stefan Amerwe. The poor boy, Boisa runs it out and Rikas yes. is looking strong My there. Goodness, look at him go. Yeah, he's got to oh, he, place it now. He's got to play it quickly. Tatasol out to Cebu, eighth man from Boisa. Cheap as Tatis all out again. He's got his forwards in the game yet. It's a, it's a hooker, the film Peter. But he's being held up. This could be a scrum. It's called the mall. But now they're coming away from it. Oh my goodness, yeah, he got well away. Done there by Peter. And they go on the small side. There was actually a man over. He just, just couldn't get the pass away. Dimpe kicks up the high, hanging up and under. Oh, the oh. scrum up didn't know, want to know. Dimpe oh. is, is, is nailed. It's uh, Mentor there who kicks it downfield again. And it's uh, Zawadi from the right wing. It's going to come all the way across. And uh, it's a net gain again for Paul Boisard because they should have the line out just outside the 25 area coach. Almost getting another 50-22. Oh no, the refs, the AR says, Paul Boys took it out. He should have just let it go out. Tommy Muller putting it into the line out, throwing it to front to Dian Small. Into a, at what a great pass there to the back. Paul Boys that brings it back to the middle. Boys are setting it up. Oh, that could be a bit of a problem there. Referee's going to call them out. He thinks he saw there something in the beginning of the tip tackle. No, he's not. He's, yeah, he's, oh, he's it's, it's two penalties at one. He can only have one. So, but Paul Boys are, they're going to kick for touch. Mentor is, is on the field. He's pulling the strings. He's going to kick to the other side. Uh, interesting. There's a bit of a breeze coming across. Maybe that's the reason. But maybe I think they like playing from the right-hand side rather, because you no know, real other explanation. Uh, Tommy Miller will once again feed the line out. The the other hooker. Uh, so he will be putting the ball in the line out. Uh, let's, let's 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 put some money down. He's going to go to the back to Damas. Middle. Go to the front to Small. Oh, great steal there in the front by Seth Venter. The Pretoria boys are doing some good things here today. It's good to see. They seem to be improving every game, which is good news for the Pretoria side because they've got some big games coming up later and this season. And he's still going. And he's still going. They're driving up through the middle. Pretoria boys are is making, is making it count here. But unfortunately, he's getting spilled forward. But the referee is not happy. He's oh, said, no, you... you you won that illegally, Paul Boys. I. My goodness me. All the way from their own 22 under all sorts of pressure, they do that. Tommy Muller, big important, putting in the line out. Muddle there, taken by Jason Hubert. Takes it up through the muddle. Up to come through the muddle. Throws out a long pass to the side there. 
Boisai is moving the ball from side to side at the moment. Paul Boisai plays over the ball and I think he's won it. Yeah, he's won it. He did enough before he did it off his feet. And Victoria Boisai was not a decent coach. Not at all. But the ref, William Lambert, missing that late heat. But not the AR. Looks like it is Ron Wiss. Going there, say no, my mate. There we go with that beautiful run there, but Victoria Boys from there for now down. The man thinking the play there, trying to pin his ear back, wasn't Gofu, but Gofu the elephant, Gofu, the speed stuff, could not get in in the corner there. I think now the AR worst went to go over chat, William Lambard is the worst. So the latest of the head we have to change the penalty from a penalty for holding against the top of um, Victoria Boys. We now a penalty for Victoria Boys for a late hit on the star fullback therefore. Tabuleng is wrong. She didn't even think about it. I'm glad to see he's back because he's been the, the middleman for Victoria Boys. He's set up. He's, uh, he's not so scared, scared to run the ball back, also at, all. at right at the right time as well, Kex. Yeah, I know. He's, he's been phenomenal, Niels. I mean, he's just as calm as Mentor. But like you say, Niels, Mentor is too calm, too cool, too composed. He goes on the lineup, breaks away the he's, um, single. Running to the middle by the hooker there. Not scared to take it up. Four boys are keeping their composure, keeping calm. Wait for the right moment. They jack it for the penalty. Those are going to be the right moment. Right in front of the middle. 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 about that one. Looked like a bounce infield to me. Mason on the left back. Very scruffy. Oh, no. no. First off, right yeah, now, very clinical as well. You can do well just to pull them back towards himself and says, Guys, let's just do what we did well in the first half. Looks like there's a no, there's a whole new front row come on. Mm. Nils, I remember last year, he had Kez Salborn College versus Pretoria Boys. I mean, not Pretoria Boys, Paul Boys. And the score at halftime was, I think, one of the five point difference. And then there were massive changes in the second half. They ended up running away with that fixture by 50 points. So maybe this is what's going to happen now because Erasmus has made many, many ch changes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a urgency. penalty. I think he, 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 he's seen his boys on and said, guys, we need to get urgent here. We need, it. We need to get urgent here. We need to get the guys, Pretoria boys are on the back foot. And it seems like that's what's happening right now. And it's a line out again just outside the try line or just before the try line of the ball boys eye. 
there's going to be a mall here. There has to be a mall. Ball goes into the lineout. That's a great take by the new eighth man there. He's the number one. There the mall goes. Oh, He's setting the scene in the middle. My here goes Paul Boiser all the way through there. And it's wow. the it's the hooker there that goes <laughs> over. And uh, Paul Boisai, they've now put a stake in the ground. Is that Christian? Paul Boisai's put a stake in the ground and they've, they've just driven over there. He's, sc he's scrambling a bit. Cakes, let's have a look at that try. My goodness. Subs made by Erasmus. Clearly those subs were necessary because this is the first dominant mall. Pretoria boys have been more dominant on the malls, but now Paul Boys making a couple of changes and look what happens soon as those changes have been made. Pure dominance, pure class. The substitute player coming in. Great work there by... Sorry, Cakes. I think it's Christian Krinlung, the hooker, has gone over there. He's a reserve <laughs> hooker that scored. Yeah, Christian has been chilling on the bench. He had some time to see where he needs to improve once he gets on the field, where he needs to be clinical, and the conversion is good. Great kick by the fullback, Van der Merva. Beautiful stuff there. Scores out to 19-3 in Chabuleng. He's going to go to the far side this time. He's trying to keep it away from the big forwards of Boizai. <laughs> no, yes, there's a big one everywhere. And it's another good Good take there by Dion Small. Out to Vian Metua. Into the middle there. And it's a ball boys are moving. And it's intercepted by Pretoria boys eye. Yeah. Ball boys are players should roll away there. Cole Williams is looking left and right. He had his hands on the ball. Yeah, I think the referee is saying that the, the offside lines were crossed there. Ball was probably out, but he still came from the side there, guys. Yeah, look. They need to take the three points here. Oh, no, they're not, Niels. They're going to go for a mall. Well, it's, it's not really a bad option, Niels, because they, they, they malls have been really, really good. So maybe they, they're thinking, hey, we can get a mall there, we can get a try, then we're back in the mix, we're back in the game. Their coach says, not a problem, does Anthony, Paul. He says, fine, boys, don't worry about that kick, let's just work. We keep moving, this is what we wanted. In the frame there, a little whisper to the air of Tapelo. Tapelo, the middle, that's a great take, but I think that was a good sack. But uh, the referee rules that Paul Boisai played the lock forward in the air there. And right unfortunately the for Paul Boisai, fortunately for Pretoria Boisai, another line out and another chance to set up the more closer to the line. And uh, away we go for Pretoria Boisai. Was not given up here. They still look, body language is still good. Shoulders back, looking up, looking for their try, which will be very important to their cause. Tapelo puts the ball in the line out. Another good take in the middle. The line out is set, going towards the line, and it breaks away. Paul Boisai defending stoutly here, goes out to the middle. That's to Rickers Vessels. Goes to, through the middle. The referee's got his arm out, getting encouragement from the. Victoria Bullseye bench here about a high tackle, which it was, and it's a penalty. There's another blow on the whistle. Is he going to have a stern talking to? No, but Bullseye is going to play it quickly. And then mauling through. No, that's isolation there Jesus. by Victoria Bullseye. You're not going to get through on your own. You've got to move the ball aside or have men on the inside, but it gets moved to the side where uh, Jack Ntwani takes it up. Victoria Bullseye is over the ball. Cole Williams to the middle again. Now, energy, energy. man from Come Victoria on, fighting manfully here. Ball taking up forward again. Legs. Victoria boys eye, pick and go. It's another pick and go going. They're making some good yardage towards the line. But boys eye with Doe Vessels has come on the field. He's got a, he's a man on the mission. <laughs> the number eight from Paul boys eye. Ball is on the ground. They've got to release him. They will have a chance to set again. But it seems like they've gonna put they're gonna get deck chairs out for the back line here because it's pick and go. Forwards are playing their own game. I think the back line should join in. 
uh, once again, it's another pick and go. Now the Ball boys are set out. up. That's right. a, yeah, that's a knock on. Men not rolling away. Referee's got his arm off. Another penalty. Getting encouragement here from the side. They must play. Where is that man going all on his own? It's the hooker there. Tumelo. Pick and go. Mr. Tapelo, my, my and apologies goes. again. Pick and go. Oh, oh. deliberate ref. The referee could be going for his yellow. pocket here. The referee, oh, uh, look at the calling. referee now. That was cynical <laughs> in the red zone. He's going to have a word there. Uh, is he going to give them a final warning or is he going to give them... No, he's saying we can't hear him, but I think he's saying there's been several infringements here. He's, he's been advised to have a word with his team and he's, he's, yeah, that's, that's what we can see there that they've been given a final warning. They're now on a team warning. You know what often happens, Gates? Some poor guy comes on the field. He's just got on the field. He just stands there, knows you, and he goes off. Yeah, that's uh, these, these final team warnings. It's, it's always a, it's always tough on, on, on guys. You know, they haven't even played for 10 yeah. seconds, and they're off again. <laughs> it does really does tend to happen, Niels. You are correct. They're great work by Pretoria boys. The box is right next to us, and you can hear their coach. He wants them to be patient. He wants them to pick and go. But then there's a call for flash, and he wants that ball to go to the back line. Like Nils was saying, they were camping out there was the back line. But now let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, Pretoria boys are taking up. Wang took the original ball. And over there, Pretoria boys are goes over for a try. No, it's another penalty. My apologies. Uh, it's, it's a penalty, and it's a, it's a penalty to... To Paul boys eye, very disappointing for Pretoria boys eye. Our vision was just somewhat obscured there. Ball gets kicked off the park there in his calm, usual way by Vian Mentor. And they've relieved some pressure. And another good line out there by Grindling is now on the field, the, the number and one hooker from the weekend. And he's going to put the ball in the line out. To the back there to Jason Dubey. And Mentor kicks it up downfield again. Mutabaleng, the fullback, as he's done. Oh, did that Gary go far Owen. enough? The Gary Owen. Oh. Kicks it forward. Great work there, kicking it. Some soccer skills there, Cakes. <laughs> well done there by Tabejo, kicking it, Gary Owen, as they called it back in the days. Uh, up and under and that ball did confuse the players from Paul from the Cape and it landed and no one gathering it Tabejo showing a bit of soccer skills like Neil said and it's a line up now for the team from the barrel Grinling puts it in the line out it's in the middle again Taps again, it's another scruffy ball by Boys Eye and Pretoria. Boys Eye is like mooring towards the line. It's just an assistant moment. Have they got it over? But Paul, Paul, Paul Boys Eye is not giving away anything. Paul Boys Eye, Pretoria Boy lines it up. The man goes straight to the middle, and that's a try. That is the try for Pretoria Boys Eye. Is that Seth? Looks like Seth Venter. Seth Venter has gone over for the try. And that's a vital try because a uh, good conversion here will bring them within one score or two scores. But, you know, another score for them now, they can put... Paul boys are really under pressure and that's quite unexpected. But Victoria boys are kept chipping away. So, uh, My okay. goodness. Tabelo at the back of the line out. He gets that ball. He runs in hard, taking on two, three or four of the Paul boys defenders going down. Recycling the ball was Pretoria boys, and then Seth Fenter says, Paya Tanki Mefro Fenter right over the try line. He scores, Bob is your uncle. We are now in a fixture. We are now on top of a derby. The book up. No, but Chubby Ling just pushes it out the right. And here comes Seth Fenter. He takes the direct route, dives through and over. And it comes out to the right. Wow, wow, wow. Like Neil said, and right through the center. 
take the ball. They would hope for a good exit here. Hey. And unfortunately, it's a bit of a shocker. Uh, the Paul boys, and they've got a chance to hit straight back there again. And it's uh, Arnul Duplessis who takes it up. Ball goes, comes out to the left again. Victoria, Paul boys are. It's coming out to the left through the middle again. Change of direction going to the opposite side and the knock on happens. Boys high. The parents were shouting from the kids from Parl. But Paul Boys High unfortunately knocking that ball on. It's a scrum down for Pretoria Boys High. Very, very, very impressive work there by Pretoria Boys High. After an unfortunate squander of possession, knocking the ball on off the kickoff. Now they got the ball back. They need to exit. They need to get the ball to Tabejo and exit. But my first choice, Niels, would go through that big man. Vessels, Rickers. Let him line it up, run hard at those centers from the Paul boys and place it. And then we go for yeah, the exit. Great. That's what I would go for because yeah, Rickers has been a yeah. menace. I'm with you. Just create a better angle because they've got to get a get away. Yeah, my big buck be the, you know, the exit. You've just worked so hard to score a try and you just give it away by not getting the ball away from the kickoff. And, but Victoria boys' eyes come away nicely. They pick and go again. The angle is better. I would kick it off the park right now if there's any chance. Goes oh, up there. No. Mabeleng. Yeah, he sidesteps. <laughs> and he comes inside, kicks it downfield. That's a great kick down the field. Wow. That's a fantastic kick by <laughs> the Tabeling. The ball for you, beauty. Yeah. You absolute beauty. He takes away the ball, uses the altitude, Look whatever at him. he's using. I said earlier <laughs> that they now playing downhill. So, so he was thinking, okay, it's downhill, the ball will go further. Be that as it may, great kick. My goodness, Neil. The shape up to kick, side steps to run through them, and then he hoofs the ball all the way downtown. The ref blasts the whistle. There's someone's shoe. <laughs> it looks like it is the number 12 shoe, Tristan Franzmann. Running is pretty good. Going to put the ball in the line out again. Four boys, I would like to just, you know, relax a bit, set it up, go through their structures. Goes to Vessels at the back. Great take by Vessels. Out to the to Mentua again, to the midfield. Oh. Unfortunately, that was not a great pass. And Ashwin Franz knocked it on, which puts Pretoria Boys Eye in another attacking position just outside the 25 area of Paul Boys Eye. My goodness. Uncharacteristic at all. Paul Boys mishandling the ball. You never see that happen. They always have silky, smooth passing. In that case, they just couldn't get their hands to the ball and it's a knock-on. So, scrum down for Pretoria Boys High. They changed their shape They're in the center of the field. It looked like they were going right, now they go left. And Pretoria Boys are now shaping to go left attack. And Paul Boys now had to readjust the defensive structure. Oh, Tabeleng, Tabeleng should have oh, let it go. being ripped out there by Vian Mento. Who else? <laughs> Making a nuisance and a menace of himself. On, Unfortunately, boy, the ruck was formed. Boys, I played the ball. And Paul Boys, I gets another chance to clear the lines via Mento. He kicks it down just inside the ball, the Pretoria Boys, I area. And, uh, Another replacement coming onto the field. Uh, he's wearing a number 21. I have no idea who that is because my number 21 is Tim Tattersall. That's not Tim Tattersall. <laughs> Paul Boys, I will be putting the line out once again. You bear in the middle. Out to Mentor. Another straight pass. Out to Fanamarva. To Damas, the number seven flank is in the line. He puts it inside again. Paul Boys eyes looking menacing right now. Out to the back line. It's that Mentua again. Oh. Little chicken wing to the front. Paul Boys eyes over the ball. I think there was a knock on and a scrum will take place. Oh, there's a bit of haji bargy. The boys are ricking and plucking here. 
emotions boiling over cakes? 100%. The emotions are boiling over. The 13 is not happy. Timpe, Moto, something happened to him. Is not happy about the coaches on the field saying, relax, boys, please discipline. Great stuff there by the coaching staff from Pretoria boys, just controlling their boys, not wanting them to put their school's name in disrepute. And obviously, don't want to get a penalty or a yellow card against you. Shaking hands are the two players that had. Yeah, that was uh, Paul Anthony, the legendary director of rugby at Pretoria Boys Eye, with his trademark 1978 perm <laughs> onto the field there, telling his boys, behave yourself. I like that too. You know? Scrum down, knock on, was by Paul Boys. It is Pretoria Boys now to feed Niels. With Cole, the, Cole Williams is going to put it in here. It's a bit of a challenge to the, see the whole field at the moment. But we're doing our best. Good scrum by, by Paul Boys. Eye, but Cole Williams gets it away. That man vessels. Good pass. I just got to get it away. Ooh, that kick didn't work. Oh, <laughs> it works. There we go, oh. Boys. Eye on the other side. Armors, armors out. Advantage to Pretoria Boys. Eye. Cole Williams gets it out again to Club Singh. Into the middle where his forwards can take it up, but the referee is going to take them back towards. He's asking the players just to leave it to calm down. And it's a penalty for a high tackle to Pretoria Boys Eye. And to Bochen and Tabi Seng, he will have a chance to clear the lines as well. He has had a fine game today. He's made very mm, few mistakes. Mm, mm. He's kicked, and I don't want to put the markers again, but I can see him putting it out on the 25 from there. Ashwin Swart not doing that on purpose at all. They were both bowling, but he managed to clip the attacking winger around the neck. I think it was Sake on Sako. Line out now, Pretoria boys. Oh my goodness. No <laughs> vessels. He's made a difference as he came on. He just. He just pulled it. Yo. Ruben Damas through the middle. The big number seven flanker. That man has gone off his feet, but Victoria boys high. they up for this game. There's something They've on the left, up. Niels. Yeah, they go left quickly here. Through the hands, boys. There goes the boy to the left Sarko. wing. Jack Ntawani. Oh, no. Oh, he lost it. Also. it up. <laughs> Anthony's saying, don't throw the ball away, boys. And there is an injured player on the floor, the ref. That is why you hear the ref. Whistle is stopping the game. Well, that looks like a serious injury. Let's hope that player didn't get injured too, too badly. Cakes, let's have a look at what happened here. What a encounter. What a game. My goodness. We have seen some amazing tries by Paul Boys. He has a couple of the reruns. Great ball movement by Paul Boys, shifting it all the way to the left, running through the gap there, finding Swartz, steps inside, steps outside, a show and go, stretches the arm, bangs the first try of the day. We are back in play. Unfortunately, the big and busy lock from Paul Boys eye has to leave the field after an industrious morning here at King Edward VII School in Houghton, Johannesburg, where there's another scrum on the outside. Paul Boyzai will be putting the ball in through the scrum off. He is the reserve scrum off today, but I think he's a number one. He's a number one, number nine. Keegan <laughs> Smith puts it in. Out to Vian Mentor, the number one, number ten. <laughs> and it comes through the middle, and it's Paul Boyzai. There they go, and it's Van Amar with the fullback. But he's holding on. The referee's got his arm up, but he's adjudicating that Pretoria boys has gone off their feet. Paul boys gets the penalty, and Mentor will set up the mall again with a penalty for a line-out. Looks like 23, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that Aiden Jacobs? Or is it Sean Lee Simons? But amazing run there. Breaking through the line offloading the ball and then Victoria boys off their feet 
penalty now. Paul Boys from Cape Town. Grinling to the middle for Vessels. He misses it this time. Paul Boys has won it back though. Through the middle again. That's Doe Vessels again. The number eight is full of running. Hey! Out from <laughs> Keegan Smith. <laughs> what oh. happened there, Cakes? Seth Fenter saw the ball in the hands of the scrummy. He thought it was play on and yeah. he hit the ball out the hand ball. and that is a penalty. Okay, Boise is taking it up quickly. Smith is calling it to pick and go again. You know, it's that move when, uh, like I said earlier, when the back line gets the deck chairs out and they just, they just cross the legs and have a rest. But unfortunately, Victoria Boise is now leaking lots of penalties. Paul Boise plays it quickly, but they're getting called back. The referee wants some order to be restored. <laughs> Keegan Smith gets it up again to that man, Jordan Uister, the prop forward. And driving up through the middle is Paul Boise. Out to the back again. Long pass. Victoria Boise has got a hand in there, and Swartz has got the ball. Victoria Boise is slowly but surely moving towards the try line. But Boise is counter rucking, counter pushing, tackling well. Mentor gets it out to Shane Lisa Monza. Paul Boise rolling, mauling it up again. It's going to be another penalty. Victoria Boise, very close to a warning as well, I think. Out to Devon Small, the lock forward. Out to the back. Mentor throws a poor oh, pass yeah, this time yeah. to the back. But boys eyes. And I'll be seeing who else kicks it downfield. Another great kick by the boys eye fly off. And it's Mentor has gone all the way back. Gives a bit of a show and go towards the side. Kicks it downfield. He took it back into the 25 area. So the touch just so he's going to go all the way back into the 25 area where Victoria and I will have the put in and they will have a chance as we come into the end of this match to have a bit of a rumble and maybe even score another try mm. which will bring them very close in this game and I don't think many people ex expected that Not quite a disjointed all. performance here by Paul Boisai not as good and as effective as they were on Saturday against King Edward the Seven School. Ball goes up in the middle of the lineout as the final whistle or the or the hooter goes. But it's Pretoria Boys Eye who's rumbling towards but the line, but they're being pushed back by Paul Boys Eye. Man breaks away. He has to present it and he does. Ball comes out to the back again by Malinos. Takes it up. It's all too static for Pretoria boys I right now. Comes out to the Come middle. On, and these boys from Peril, they are putting in some big tackles. Ball gets turned over. That's Grindung, the reserve hooker. They uh the number one, number two. Out to Mento again, and they're playing it wide to the side. And there they come to Ashwin Swartz. Oh my goodness, what amazing play here by Paul Boys not kicking the ball out. Running it all the way back from the 22 into Pretoria Boys is half, and they're still going. That's Joost again, the, the prop forward, and it's going to be a try. That's Grunlum. <laughs> That's the hooker. Then number one, number two has gone I over in the corner. I believe it. John Grunlum, I think that's his second try. He scored the last try as well. Paul Boys eyes running the length of the field after the hooter. They had a chance to kick it off the park. Let's Let's go to the to the to the airport, catch a plane, go back to Cape Town and Paul. But no, they decided they're going to take it on, and they scored one of the tries of the weekend. What a beautiful run! Mintua gets the ball, shifts it one pass to his backline players, and then he released some heat there, running the ball, a show and go, little dummy, offloading the ball to Ashwin Swartz, who turned the gas on, and it was all over. Down in the center, they fell, and then they push a the ball to the right again, and then we had 
the props running, <laughs> showing some class. Eh? Niels was on his feet. He could not believe the beautiful slick hands by those props. And then Christian getting the try at the bottom right corner. I'll tell you one thing, Niels. Pretoria boys has come to play rugby. Whoever doubted them, you best believe there's something coming for you, mate. This Pretoria boys outfit has been phenomenal. I would like to say Pretoria boys outfit was so good, it made Paul boys look average. My goodness, take a bow, coaching staff. You are doing something really, really well there at Pretoria boys to keep this Paul boys team to a 24 score down. 24-8 is amazing. Great, great work. I don't even think Kez had a, a, a lower score than this. I think Kez's score was a little bit higher. 3-3, 34. Thank yeah. you, everybody, for watching. Neil. Yeah, that's it. Goodbye here, yeah, and we're off to the next game. Good performance by the boys' eyes.